Hey guys, this is The Chronic Gamer, and today I'm going to quickly show you how I record my emulated games. Um, this, this should work for like, at least Super Nintendo, N64, whatever, N Nintendo. Um, doesn't work for PC very well, but anyway, uh, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to download Cam Studio. This is 100% free, this is why I use it. Um, you're only allowed to record up to 2 gigs. So you gotta watch your file size, which is down here, and you can get about 20 minutes when you record from an emulator. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your options, and you're gonna select audio options, and audio options for microphone, not speakers, microphone. All right, and you're gonna wanna make sure that your audio capture device is set to stereo mix. If you don't see it, go into your recording devices down here, bring up this and set it as your default device you shouldn't have to do that I mean I have mine set as the default communications device and it still shows up in there but you shouldn't have any problems with it not showing up but you need to make sure you're always setting it to stereo mix this is how you record the in-game music and um, I set my default device to my microphone so I can make commentary and like what you're hearing now so once that's done just hit OK hit OK. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to video options. Okay, it's gonna bring up this. These are all your different codecs and <clears throat> I just use Microsoft Video One because I get the best results and I set it to 77 quality. It starts at like 75 but I wanted a smidge better and it actually does make a big difference. And right here, set your keyframes for every 30, alright, for, especially for emulators because you know, it's just telling the, the, the capture device to capture a frame every 30. It, it's hard to explain, but just set it to 30. And then these two should always equal 1,000, okay? So I like 20 milliseconds and 50 frames. That's about the best you're going to get, and that's the closest you'll get to 60. That's a nice even number like this. So if you do 50 times 20, that'll equal 1,000. So that's all set. And I have a little bit of audio and video lag, so what I do is I had to, yeah, I had to actually set up the, you know, set up the emulator and then change the delay. So I did a delay of a thousand milliseconds and that solved my problem, so now I don't have any more uh, audio lag issues. And, um... <clears throat> So then what you're going to do is you're going to select region, and this is going to allow you to manually highlight a region to record. For some reason, emulators, while you can play full screen, they don't record full screen. They only record like, you know, let me make the box right now. Look at the top left. You'll see my mouse by the uh, San Marcos thing. Um, so what I do is I make a box like this. This is where I have to make my box every time and it captures it perfectly fine. So it's about that big and right in that corner. So yours may be different, but I mean, I'm doubting it. I'm sure it's gonna be just like this. And then you just let go and it'll start recording for you. And with the window that big, like I said, you can get about 20 minutes, but try to keep your videos around 15 just to be safe. So you don't over record, because if you over record, you can't save it at all and you're fucked. I had to learn the hard way several times. Um, so that's about all I got for you. Uh, let me try to think. So region, yeah, don't go over two gigs. Um, yeah, we're good. So if you guys, uh, could go ahead and like and subscribe, that would be awesome. And this is the Chronic Gamer, and I'm showing you how I record my emulators using Cam Studio. Again, this is a free software, and I'll see you guys later. Smoke them if you got them.